him with a skirt. Good. I suppose you think you're so right. good. You don't like. Oh, you punk. All right, ditch the knife, Jerry. Try and take it. What for? You'd only have a bigger one tomorrow. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about knives. Now this is the knife I carry with me every day. This is my Spyderco Bug. It's an excellent little pocket knife, UK legal. Um, very, very tiny, as you can see. And uh, super handy for sharpening pencils, opening packages, or filleting tiny miniature steaks, whatever you're into. But a problem I had with this knife is obviously after couple of weeks of use it had gotten dull which is a big big problem if you're trying to sharpen pencils or do anything else because a dull blade is not a helpful blade it's just a pain so I picked myself up this this is the any sharp knife sharpener it uses tungsten carbide cutting heads here to sharpen your blade to a 20 degree facet on either side I don't know very much about knives but I do know that I'm not very good at sharpening them by hand I've tried a bunch of times and all I end up with are scuffs on the knife blade and uh, not a very sharp blade to boot. So I thought I would invest, this is about 10 pounds, great British pounds, so maybe 15, 20 bucks um, from Amazon, really, really simple to get, and very well reviewed, very well promoted, so I'm not gonna go over it, I'm not shimming it, I'm not, this isn't a promoted video, this isn't a paid video, I just bought one and thought I would show you it in use and also what I think of it, given that I've used it a couple of times, both on my knives and for the knives I have in the kitchen. Now the thing I liked about this setup versus a lot of the other ones that are out there is that this is super, super simple. So as you can see, there's this little black handle on top. I just center that up. You pull this down, it engages a suction cup, and now that's stuck to the table. It's not going anywhere, which is very, very handy because you're gonna be handling knives. What you do not want is this moving and that knife, very, very sharp and now coming towards you in an aggressive manner. So that's what we do not want. So you just, Pull the suction cup down. You can't actually use it very easily without the suction cup down, which is an interesting safety feature. And it is really, really tough. I'm giving it a good, good amount of force. And I can only just move it if I really pull on it. I know a lot of knife people will know a lot more about that than I do, but um, I know that it's very, very hard to get a consistent angle on both sides, a consistent bevel because of the nature of having to hold it on a sharpening stone. It's very, very hard. It's very easy to mess it up. And this one is all scuffed up where I did precisely that because I didn't really know what I was doing. So this is a godsend. It's very, very nice to be able to just give it a couple of swipes through that and nice and sharp again. And to just, just to see, let's do a little test. This little knife, my grandfather gave me a number of years ago. This is a tiny balasong or butterfly knife. It's illegal to take this out in the streets and muck about with it. So I don't, this stays in the house. It's just a little heirloom. It's just a nice little thing that I have, but it's really, really dull. And no, I can't do any tricks. I'm not gonna try for me to feel horrendously trying to do tricks. It's not sharp at all. It was made by, uh, let me see, Renault and Toledo, if that means anything to you knife people out there. Uh, let me know if this is anything. I mean, it's really not sharp. I can, it's pointy. It's quite sharp on the point, but the blade is really dull. I mean, I'm putting a lot of force on that and it can't possibly cut me. So we're gonna try and sharpen this one up right now, right here. Not live, but almost. Let's give it a couple of swipes. I've been told that the best method is to go a couple of heavy pulls first and then a lighter just to finish it off. This blade's also a little dinged up where I tried to sharpen it and failed horrendously, but it is not sharp. So let's give it a couple of passes in this. This has not been sharpened for about 15 years. And let's see what I can do. In fact, I'm gonna spin this around so you can see the action from the side. Start at the base of the knife. One. Two, three, four. I can already see it's getting sharper. Five. Give it a couple of light passes now. That was five long, five short. Just try and give it a little thing. I, it's not super sharp, but I can definitely tell it is sharper. It's definitely sharpened it up a bit. It maybe needs a bit more work. But um, from first impressions, this thing is pretty good. It certainly doesn't beat a proper hand sharpen, but as I can't do that, so this is an ideal thing, just to keep the blades of my pocket knives and the blades of my kitchen knives nice and sharp. So we've got the little butterfly knife and we've got my Spyderco bug, both sharpened up and working very, very nicely.
So there you have it, the AnySharp World's Best Knife Sharpener. I wouldn't say it's the world's best, it's probably uh, a decent generic option, but um, if you're like me and you can't sharpen them by hand or you don't have the time to learn, then uh, it's not a bad option for keeping those knives a little sharper than dull. But this mess says it's as good as a smile. Put yourself in her place. Well, I just tried, but gosh, I'm too bashful.